Shai K, you tapped in with P Films. What's the word, man? What's good, my boy? Listen, man, you somebody that all of my subscribers been begging me to have on the platform for so long. I'm here, you heard? Yeah. We finally got them, people. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So now uh, now that we got you, we're going to make it so you can't leave. We're going to have we have so many questions for you, man. Um, first, I want to say, you know, thank you for coming on the platform. It's a pleasure, you know, for these last couple of years, just watching you elevate, watching you grow has been like crazy. I remember watching, you know what I'm saying? Like when you started out doing videos in the park, doing videos all over, then to see the elevation of the the the, the effects in your videos, moving on, working with noodles and all that. Um, what was that growth like for you? And did you ever see this happening when you started? Did you ever see what you're doing now happening? No, I ain't never see this happening, but yeah. I just, I felt like I could be somebody. So I just kept working, kept pushing. Yeah. Till I met my son Noodles, then he went all the way to the top. Gotcha, gotcha. I bet. Um, I definitely want to talk more about that, getting into the music. Um, but you know, before we get into your story and everything, something just happened, and everybody wants us to <laughs> ask why. Cause I, you know, <clears throat> obviously we seen the whole situation with EBK Chopper. That's a fact. Initially, we know y'all to be cool. You know what That's I'm right. saying? And um. So after we seen that video, it was kind of like, damn, what, what the hell happened? So, you know, it's, it's, it's on you now. Let us know, like, what caused the fallout or whatever. It was occurred. like Ben. That nigga was Ben Wade, bro. Nigga was just doing anything. Yeah. But, like, that nigga wanted to... First, he was, like, cool. He was a nobody. Yeah. Then when I said Eda passed, he started going Eda crazy, smoking Eda. Oh. But mad niggas was. But I was on mad niggas. So some niggas going to say we picked and choose. But I was running down on mad niggas behind that. Yeah. And then he was still chilling with my bros and shit. Got you. He not for my block, but he was chilling with niggas for my block. So yeah. then I'm like, fuck it, bro. That nigga not threatening me or nothing. And the nigga manager paid me for a feature. Yeah. So that's why we did that song, Me, Him, and Be oh, Love. Oh, got you. Got you. So I thought y'all was more cooler than that. Nah, nah. Okay. Okay. He's from like upstate or something, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. So how did he find himself around? Because my son CJ Goon lived up there. Got you. He moved up there. He had a crib up there, so... He met niggas up there, yeah. and CJ brought him down here. Yeah. Then he just started chilling without CJ, shit mm, like that. Got you. Did it Did it bother you when, because I seen uh, Talk of the Town put out a little clip where she said, where EBK Chop is basically saying like, yo, you know, I was cool with Shimi, Shai K Nu, and all that. Did it bother you when you got cool with them, or that was kind of a no, strike against was, him too? Yeah, that was why he got his ass with. Oh. Like, you nigga, you playing too many songs, bro. Like you either with us or yeah. But even when we was chilling before, and around the time we made the track, I'm telling you, you're not from here, bro. You gotta know who to how to move. You gotta yeah. know who to chill with, bro. Anything can happen to you. You just moving dumb. Yeah. I never yeah. knew you was cool with Shimi, bro. I never knew that. He said he said it like you did. He said, no, I did not. Yeah. And then I right, being cool with a nigga, then making a song with him, mm. and he dissing niggas in the song that you on. Yeah. Too far. So got you, got you. If he would have told you, like, yo, EK, I ain't gonna lie. Man, it's not only him, man. Niggas from my block fuck with me. Okay. What was it What was it about him that made you feel that you like... you actually linked him and did a song with him. Gotcha. Okay. Okay, I remember la uh, the time when y'all kind of got into it with Shimi, too. Or I think it was... Yeah, Billy he telling niggas... Shimi telling him, you got 48 hours. The same niggas that beat Chop up, the same niggas who beat him up. Like, gangsta. Damn, man. Hey, you, 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 there's, there's no ever coming, because come, usually sometimes when a person passes away, it kind of brings people together, right? Now yeah. we know, uh, rest in peace to Diddy, he passed away a while ago, but there's so many people in the Bronx that love him. Yeah. Could, could his passing and the love that everybody has for him make people pick up a phone that, call? That, that's call. what niggas be trying to do, but nah, bro, yeah. that niggas just, like, niggas did too much and, like, mm -hmm. we got the same deaths, but... I don't care. That that's how he got beat up. We caught him yeah. after passing the my man's B Diddy. He came. Yeah. Actually came acting like he was before the Diddy first dog, she and me being had no problem with him. Okay. He started chilling with niggas we had beef with and started jacking their shit. Gotcha. So I actually seen him before, before all this. Yeah, and that's how it happened. You know, the video was a little crazy to me. Cause we see one video, he got the shoe off. And I I don't have a problem with EBK Chop. I'm not trying to laugh at him. It's it's like he has one shoe off and he's in a train station. 
Then we see another video. He outside, and we like, yo. What it was is that well, after niggas did that to him, he had he had no phone or nothing. We Damn. took his phone, everything. Yeah. So he went on the train. He's an upstate nigga trying to find a way to get home. Yeah. And other niggas call him before oh, I got to post the video. That's okay. Got you. Now it makes sense. Damn, that's a bad day. <laughs> the one that I see niggas catch up on the train, I'm like, oh, now I'm about to post this video. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Because we looking at it like, yo, twice in one day is crazy, son. That, that is. <laughs> yeah, a bad day. <laughs> yo, but you know, you know, it's when you're saying he's from upstate, it kind of makes sense. Because even when he was taking the train, I was like, why is he on the train, son? He's on a train. Like I, I don't know any. I don't know these people like outside of doing you know business yeah. and all that. So I be feeling bad for some people when it happened to them. But I do be thinking to myself like, why do you do this? Why do you like the train? Dumb. These things don't be know how to move. They be forgetting they dissing and yeah. You not about to catch me on anybody block. Yeah, yeah. You doing anything? You chilling with the wrong niggas? Yeah. And the block you was chilling on, my man is from there. Damn. My son Mizzy. Yeah. He from there. Yeah. He called me, this nigga on my block, look, yeah. you don't even know, you just chilling with the wrong niggas, you just doing anything. Yeah, having too many friendships all over, that, that could cost you. Damn. You know, you made an interesting point when you said, you know, people be dissing, and they not, they not even remember what they, they don't even remember what they doing in these songs, and then they trying to live a regular life, like, things gotta change. What are some of the things you feel like you had to kind of change when you started dissing or getting into, just living that street, like, what are some of the things? Walking. That, Walking to the wrong places, just being anywhere. Yeah. Stay, bro, I don't even stay in the, any store for five minutes, gang. Yeah. I stay in the store for one minute. I get, <laughs> I, like, before I get into stuff, go inside the store, I, I got to know what I want before I get there. I'm not even going yeah. in, lightly gagging, Dang, getting man. out. I, I don't walk to stores to get my sneaker. Yeah. not walking in stores. Niggas don't be knowing how to move. That's a fact. You got to know what you get and where it's at. And, Everything. And, yeah, yeah. Damn, yo. Oh, my God. You know, when um when things like that happen, do you feel like you miss out on things? Like, cause I might be like, I might tell my shorty, yo, this weekend we going to the movies or we just gonna go for a walk. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, that's a fact. You can't do that. Hell no. Damn. Not in the Bronx at least. Yeah, you kind of got to go on TV. Yeah. Damn. How do you feel when you leave the Bronx? Like, what's that? How do you, cause I, I used to always say when I would leave New York and go to somewhere where um, there's not work going on or drama there. I it's regular. Different. When I'm on my crib, I'm regular. I'm, I just be regular. I be like, damn, I could walk to the store. I could walk yeah. a little. Once I come to the Bronx, because people see me in the Bronx so much, they think I live. In, I still yeah. live on the block. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I thought you did too, but then but, I, but then you know I be talking to Crooklyn sometimes. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all y'all speak from time to time, and he be like, nah, nah, you don't, you don't. But nah, that's what's up. That's what's up. I just don't like being inside. Yeah. Nah, Stuck. I'm not. Yeah. Can't. There's nothing over there. Yeah. You know how people say, yo, when you leave, don't come back. What is your thoughts on that? Like having the money, having the fame and success. What is your thoughts when you go back now? Like I think like even when you you, you should like something not like you should go back to a certain extent because this shit come with ups and downs. Okay. If you up and you'll go back, if you go down, you go back. You're it's done. over. <laughs> done. Like, That's the fact. Is gonna get you. That's a fact. That's a fact. I bet. Let's kind of get into your, um, I kind of wanted to start open up with that, but let's get into Shai K's story. You know, obviously we know you grew up in the Bronx, right? Um, you grew up in Cortland, right? Yeah. Got you. You growing up, what was that kind of like, you know, your upbringing and everything? What was that like for you out there? I had to make my name for myself. Like, yeah. I wasn't who I was on my block before. Like, it was mad people, mad older niggas. Yeah. But you come out, niggas don't respect you. Niggas know your family members. Niggas know... Or take this shit. So I had to make a name for my whole family, like me and my whole family, so they could be good. Yeah, got you. Did you ever feel like a sense of pressure being so? Oh yeah. Yeah. I feel. I always feel like that. Like growing up in those areas. So now nowadays you see all these kids acting like that. That's what they doing. Trying mm. to make their name for themselves on a block so they could be good. God, it's not really crazy. Yeah, but. If you could rewind it, would you go about it the same way, or would you, or do you feel like, yo, you know what, I did what I had to do, so it is what it is. I'll do this. Yeah, thing. I did what I had to do, yeah. so it is what it is. But I, I, I didn't even want to be the type of person. Yeah, I what wanted did, to play ball and shit. So you wanted to play? That was, I was going to yeah. ask you that too. What did you want to do before rap play and ball. all that? Play ball. Are you good in ball or? Yeah, a little bit. Word? Before I was really nice, <laughs> but then I lost the championship, so and it was over. <laughs> over. How old were you when you was bowling? Like, 
um, like 14, 15. Okay, okay. Got you, got you. Um, now, are you scoring a lot? Or are you? I was the main scorer, bro. Oh, uh, and was... just because you lost the championship, you stopped balling? Yeah, because then it was like we going to middle school now. We lost. Mm. It's over. Now you got to try out for a new team. Got you. Okay, 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 okay. You Honduran, right? Yeah. You know what's crazy? It's not until I got, like, I was going to school in the Bronx, too, where I started seeing mad Hondurians and all that. Do you speak Spanish as well or not? Yeah, a little bit. Nah, you got to say something for the people. You, know, you got to say something. <laughs> I speak Spanish a little bit, like, when I be in the cabs and shit yeah. like that. All right, what you, you tell the cab on. driver? That this drive, they don't know how to. They don't, they, I bet if I be like, if I'm the cab driver, I'm just driving the cab. All right, EK, where you want to go? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got to yeah, say it, yeah. say it in Spanish. Let me yeah. <laughs> it's weird. That shit just be coming out, bro. Got you, got you. Maybe by the end of the interview, we get EK to speak some Spanish, all right? <laughs> but now, nah, uh, all right, so who who are some of the people you grew up listening to? Who's EK um, listening to? Like, things like Chris Brown. Mm -hmm. He's like Soldier Boy. Yeah. Things like that. It's so funny you said those two names. I never heard those two, like Chris Brown and Soulja Boy. You usually hear G Herbo, you hear Lil' Oh Daddy. yeah, like that's like when I was not in the street. Then okay. when I got yeah, in the yeah, street, yeah. I was listening to Chief G Herbo. Yeah, yeah. Got gotcha. Brooklyn Rappers. Do you think do you think um the music influenced a lot of that? Or do you feel like Matter of fact, I'm not gonna even give you an option. What were the things that influenced you to kind of get into the streets? What was what right. was going around, going on? Around? Everybody knew me. I had a name for myself, and I wanted to live on what the niggas in my hood was doing. Gotcha. I got locked up. I wanted to keep they shit alive. Yeah, yeah. Shit like that. Bet. So then, that's that's basically what influenced me. Gotcha. That's gotcha. right. You could get into this as much you want to get into, but I know like. Y'all kind of don't get along with the Max, but y'all over there used to be so like Mac. Yeah. Mac. What? How did the transition happen, and what is it like? And do the do the older guys get upset when y'all kind of like dropping the Mac? Or... Yeah, because they had went to the Fed, the people that was Mac. Yeah, and I used to be Mac too. Wow, word. Yeah, but the nigga we was Mac under end up snitching, and that's why all the older bros went to the Fed because okay. he told on them the niggas he was chilling with. Got you. Then they came home. But we was ready to beef with the Max. They ready, because everybody was saying Colin is a dub. They big homies are rad, shit like that. Gotcha. So okay. then we start beefing with the Max. Bad, bad. So is there ever any argument, or they kind of understand? Like... No, nah, they came home. They, they, those are my big bros. So they yeah, be like, y'all yeah. niggas do the stop jacket, back case, shit like that, bro. <laughs> gotcha. Dead ass. So nigga, I, I respect them. We be playing around, but nigga, we don't be on no dead ass. Shit, they really max up. So. Okay. And those okay. are our big brothers, so I, like, they brought me outside and shit, so I fuck with them. Gotcha. So that's what make us be with the max a little bit still now. So gotcha. now, like certain niggas we beef it, but certain niggas we don't. Okay, okay. And that's how we call EBK Chopper, because he was around the wrong max. Gotcha. Okay, okay. Damn, and EBK called Chopper. <laughs> Yo, I don't mean to, I'm done to him, man. But, you know... Um, Let's talk about uh, the music. You know, when do you say to yourself, like, yo, you know what? Let me start doing music. Uh, what well, Sh Shooter Get Shot was your first song, right? That you put out? That I put out that niggas knew, but I was yeah. already rapping for like okay. two years already before. What, what, what was the style of rap? Was it was it? It was auto tune because yeah. I chilled around Lil TJ before he made it. Yeah. Smokey Mall Jello, like that. So I'm seeing people that I actually know made it. Gotcha. So that's why I did my son. Javiani, my son rap too, he yeah. out there. My son Javiani, he's doing auto tune. Yeah. So that's what they began to do. Yeah, it only, it only makes sense, I bet. So now you're doing that music, then drill comes. You know what yeah, because then it goes to now drill come. Yeah. And I had showed D thing on them niggas one of my drill tracks, but I ain't put it out. At that time, like we arguing every time, like on the phone, like yeah, I'm showing them like nigga, yeah, nigga, I'm making songs and shit. Uh, uh. Yeah, <laughs> they dropped the drill track before us. They dropped their video. Ah, oh. they had niggas behind them. I guess older niggas. Yeah, dropped it. Boom, start going crazy. Yeah. And I'm like, nah, we not doing no order two no more. Yeah, got it, drill. <laughs> got you, got you. So you start doing that. Now, what is it like when y'all put that that drill song out and it's like, yo, this is shooting. We actually getting views. What is that feeling like? That shit was crazy. I'm like, nah, I know we could do it. I knew it. Yeah. I knew it. And then we was always rapping in my man's crib. Yeah. My son PJ got a lawsuit. 
Oh, wow. Because he got locked up. Yeah. And they, when he got locked up, they tried to say he, he did a murder. Oh, and he got a, he got the nigga that caught the yeah, cause the nigga that caught the murder had the same chain as him and the same first name and last name. That's crazy coincidence. What? He was like, what? Yo. So and that was around the time when you were sixteen, you could go to Rikers Island. Damn. He was sixteen on Rikers Island. You what was know? his? Do you, did he tell you what his experience was like when he was there? Yeah, he got lit. My son was getting, and he was Mac. He went in there, Mac Bowler. <sighs> Damn. So he was good to a certain extent, but he only did two weeks, came out. Okay, Because okay. we was going to court, and they man was going to court. So we pushing up on them like, nigga, y'all know, y'all know the vibe. Y'all know my man didn't do that. Uh-uh. Yeah. Uh. He about to fight the other nigga man in court and all that. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And then PJ was telling me when he belted out, he was still having to go to court for it. Okay. The, the nigga that died, like, pops and everybody was there, always grilling my son. Yeah. Damn, Like, bro. he did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then they found out. Y'all get a lawsuit, whatever the case may so be. So now, he paid for the video. Got he paid you. for the studio session. Shout out to PJ, man. Because he could have did anything with that money, but supported the guys. That's what's up. Then we got on the track. Because yeah. he know we really, I really wanted to rap. Yeah. He didn't care about rapping. Yeah. So we went to the studio, then we live. We start arguing with some niggas that we was chilling with like two weeks ago. So yeah. we like, what? You talking crazy? So I, that was made us... Make sure to get shot at the time. We on live and we in the studio just listening to a beat. Gotcha, gotcha. I bet, bet. You know what? Since you bringing up PJ, how, how is he doing? What's his He good, bro. Like? My son good, just fighting. Yeah. Soon yeah. be out. Okay, bet, bet. Well, praise up for him, man. You know, when when you when we think about Shah, we think about PJ, everybody thinks about Nas. You feel me? Like, what happened with Nas? I don't know if you ever spoke about it. Like What Nas? Nas EBK. Like, I don't know oh, if you ever Oh, no, spoke I never about spoke about it. So you, yeah, I got you. You know, when I, I interviewed him and he was telling me his perspective and all that, but for you, what made y'all do that to him if y'all were cool with him? What what was the reason? One, we wasn't cool with you. That's what I be trying to tell niggas. Niggas just be around niggas, not knowing, just trying to be damn. Oh. It looked like you cool the whole time. Niggas just been trying to do that to you before that happened to you. Okay. It just was never the right time. Gotcha. So niggas always saying, yo, chill. There's chill. He was cool with CJ. Okay. He was. Yeah, I see they cool now. Yeah, you know? still yeah. cool, but we was on him. I was on him. I dead didn't have no problem with him. Mm -hmm. But he was a nigga that we used to make come three in the morning, come sell us weed, and we don't give him no bread. He just woke up. That was that type of nigga he was. What you mean? Gangster. What you, what you mean selling weed and he My don't... blood brother. You know I even know my blood brother. <laughs> he was doing that to you, bro. Like, fang dingling, make him come. That's when it was not even Zah. It was just a clear baggy. Yeah, dog. yeah, yeah. Pulling up, yo, we need an eighth. He taking an eighth and walking upstairs. Damn. Then he texted like, "What's up, bro? We got you." Never, never got give, that never give him, Oh man. And so I guess it, so. When we was around, every time he was going to hotel parties, one day we was actually gonna do it because he had all the weed and shit. Yeah. Niggas end up not doing it. Then one day, PJ just did it on his own. They just did it. Wow. He, he said. I don't know if I'm bugging. He trying to say he lied and trying to say he was fighting mad niggas, old yeah. niggas. No, shut up, he was fighting two, three niggas, bro. He was not fighting mad niggas. Yeah. Niggas told him pull up, he pulled up right in the hallway. And I guess they start they start trying to grab the weed and shit. Yeah. He run downstairs to the next floor. Not knowing like he run into my man's the floor they was on. Yeah. That's my man's floor. But his family live on the bottom. The next floor under. Yeah. He running downstairs and he's knock like knocking on the door. He knocks on the wrong door. So my man's grandma called, like, I think one of your friends is here, something happened to him. Yeah. So he like, what? One of my friends? These niggas looking for him. He just disappeared. So he told him like he and my grandma shit. Oh. He pulled him out. He got caught with some shit like that. Damn. He always got away. <laughs> Damn, I'd be so tight. Grandma, <laughs> Grandma didn't even know what she was doing. She was really trying. <laughs> Help. Oh, Grandma, son. Innocent people, man. Don't know. Oh, man. But yeah, I guess that was never... I guess you're saying that was never really somebody I was cool with like no. that. Wow. Damn. Did, but did he... Because he said that like, he, really, he really liked y'all. Like, yeah, because he the niggas that's... The young niggas on the block. We, everybody know us. We dissing. Everybody yeah. want to be around us. Yeah. You wasn't that though. Gotcha. You ain't do a drill. You wasn't starving with us. Yeah. Nothing. 
Okay. Just understand. another nigga trying to come around. You know what's crazy? I think, you know, why didn't you ever say that? Like, because I feel like... like interview? Yeah, because I was like, damn, I never, I don't think I ever heard him tell his nah, side. Because it made you look like, it made you kind of look like, yo, don't get around EK, you get back to work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what niggas be thinking. It don't be like that, bro. Yeah, okay. I never said that because, one, I ain't do it to you, and two, like... I ain't want to get him clout. In my hottest moment at that time, gotcha. if I spoke about anybody, they would have gone, went up. Okay. Yeah. Understood. Understood. Got you. You know, when things like that happen, you know, I know time has passed. If, I think I had to ask him if he could ever make peace with you or something. I think he said if you would apologize us. Or so, I think so. Yeah, because he said, I ain't do it. I'm just yeah, rapping boom. about it. He got this side kick. I'm mm. not going to say no names. He got okay. this one side kick, though. He gonna rap about everything that Sidekick do. Okay. So it's like, how is that his raps? Mm. It should be his Sidekick rapping about that. If that's the case. Okay. That's like me rapping about what my means is doing every day. And my yeah. means really out here doing shit. And I'm just, I know the real. So it's just like, I just laugh. It's no wrong. I'm yeah. not gonna, that's me nothing. EK been outside before me, like on some, like on some hood nigga, on some hood little kid shit. Like, yeah. I wasn't, on that right now. I was on some basketball and money type of shit. Yes, there we go. The niggas that did it wasn't rappers. Gotcha. So they ain't had the voice. You started rapping at distance. So I'm like, what? Yeah. yeah, I'm putting this on the track now. Nobody knew you got robbed. I'm putting it on the track. Got you. Okay, yeah, you kind of got to wave that flag because that's your mans. They not the rappers. You are You're yeah. the brand. Understood, understood. Could you ever see yourself if he was just like, yo, I'll put it to the side, EK, like, move on. Before, I would have. Yeah, but now it's too but far. But then you start smoking my pops and shit. Too far. Yeah. Got you. I feel like that's what it is. Like a lot of things, if people would have spoke before it got to the point where too much dissing, it would have been so much peace and I think we would have been in a better place. But once everybody starts smoking on this Nah, but fuck that. Over. He picked and choose because then it was nothing. He like, oh, I did that. That shit ain't about nothing, bro. Y'all just crazy. Uh, uh. Yeah. Now he start getting tough. Now he start, whatever, he start towing the gun that sits you. He start, yeah. So now he started thinking crazy, but he seen PJ. He see. like, nah, I want you. I, I want I want Ty, my son Walker. He like, I want him because yeah. he was really my means. God. Gotcha. Uh, uh, like we was sharing clothes, whatever he was saying they was doing. Okay. okay. So he was mad. If you picking and choosing, you just scared of PJ. Yeah. I mean, I, I a lot of people talk about PJ as a scary person. So <laughs> <man>. <laughs> <laughs> like, you scared of PJ, but you're not trying to... Well, walk like you weird, bro. Yeah, that was weird. Gotcha. You been so you been seen niggas. You didn't want that with PJ. Like, yeah. Damn. You know, you mentioned earlier. Um, and then he said yeah. he was locked in with K flocking them. You met K flocking them off for us. So once we started beefing, everybody was finding which side to pick. God. We wasn't the side to pick. We ain't have a lot of money. We ain't had the best clothes. We just had mad beef, all types of shit. So yeah. niggas was picking. Mm. Whatever side was hot at the time. K Flock was a little bit more hot, so they kind of like, all right, this side. Yeah. Make... Got you, yo. It makes sense. That was not okay. linked up. You didn't know them niggas from the hole in the wall. Wow. I thought they been new. No, so no, they, he no. meant Flock through you. Yes. Wow. Everybody did. Who, Nobody like... knew him. <laughs> Come on, I said B Love. Because they knew each other from back in the day. Yeah. But he wasn't chilling with him either. So me and B-Dot are going back. I met him over B-Dot and PJ because they was... B PJ know him because they was locked up okay. together. Flock and PJ. Yeah. Understood. Gotcha. My man, Aviani was locked up with Keith Flock too, so niggas knew him. Yeah. But niggas wasn't chilling with him. When he came home, that's when B-Dot like, yo, some nigga named Keith Flock. Uh, they got caught. The ops did. He called me. We out. Because B-Dot used to live on their side too. B-Dot gotcha. pops live on... K Flock Block. Okay, okay. Got you. So got you. when we went, that's why I met K Flock. Got you. I bet now now it all is it, kind of tying in. That's crazy. Um, I boom, you, you mentioned earlier, I'll get back to the whole K Flock thing, but you mentioned earlier your pops had passed away. How old were you when he um passed away? This is me like probably three, four years ago, probably twenty twenty years ago. Oh, okay, okay. Damn, that's kind of fresh. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like how how is it like um I also dealt with like a lot of family dying when I was I was young. You know what I'm saying? It affected me in different ways. For you, how did that affect you? It was like crazy. Yeah. Cause my last like I was in my pops was really around. Okay. 
So my last big situation with my pops was me getting shot. Mm, damn. So that's when I started seeing him, started being around, then it went back to regular. Okay, okay. Then my mom said he in the hospital. Yeah. People think he got killed on some gang shit. No. How I popped he... down of Corona. Like, no, I never told nobody this. No way. Yeah. Wow. Was he, um, well, first of all, rest in peace to him. Sorry that that happened. Like, I feel like I haven't met so, and like, I've heard people who lost people during the, vi during the pandemic, but this is the first time I'm hearing somebody tell me they lost, like, a, a immediate family member, mother, father, sister, brother, or something like that. Like, when he caught corona coronavirus, did you know, like, did y'all know, like, all right, this is looking bad? Or... He was good at first. Okay. They just cool, like, you know, we not responding or nothing. Damn, son. Then he died two days before my birthday, April 6th. Wow. So you get shot, kind of get cool together, then you, things kind of die down a little bit, coronavirus happens, two days before your birthday, he passes away. Mm -hmm. Damn. Two days before. How do you, do you even celebrate on your birthday? What, what is that moment like on your birthday? It was just weird. I was on my block. I was just smoking weed, yeah. probably popped the perk. Yeah. That's how I got through it. Got you. Got you. What, you know, when he passes away now, is there, is there anything you remember? From of him or like things you kind of like I, right, these are the good moments I had with my dad. You know. Yeah, when he was taking me to the park and shit. Yeah, lit. Got yeah. me on the soccer team, shit like that. That's what's up. Damn, son. Definitely sorry to hear that. I did not know it was coronavirus. Wow. I'm trying to say that because I never told nobody. And there was one time I said in an interview that I told niggas not to take it out. Got you. Got you. I think so. This is the first time. Yeah, yeah. You know it's P films. We you know that. <laughs> but nah, real talk, man. Really, is it's really my condolences, yo. It's, it's, it's my boy. Um, it's kind of like uh, like I said, man. All of y'all, like I don't really know y'all on a personal level, but I never, I never like hearing bad things happen. Is like I never want to hear that for anybody. You know what I'm saying? But um, even the you getting shot, like you're young. You know, y'all are going through grown man things at such a young age. How is that, the day that happened to you, what is that moment like for you even, yo? That was crazy. That was crazy. I, 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 I thought I was going to die right now. What the fuck? Yeah. I was panicking. I ran. My yeah. man, JG, just locked up. Like, my son, JG, didn't see the drill scene or nothing. Like, he yeah. got, he caught up to 12 years at a young age. Like, so my man that was locked up, my man JG's, he helped me. He put his fucking shirt around my hip. Yeah. And I went to the ambulance. He took me to the ambulance with me the whole way. That's what's up. That shit was crazy. Yeah. You know, so after when you realized, did you ever black out at any point or you, um... That's, that's my story to the cops. I was oh. wrong place, wrong time. I blacked yeah. out. <laughs> you lying. Wrong place, wrong time. Yeah, yeah. They always be trying to force people to tell it. You know how it goes. Like, they just right. trying to figure out what happened. But why do people always say, yo, he, he, he got shot and he told on a dike. But you're here saying you told so him. So where the fuck? Out. And when a person that come home, come out, you're going to see. Yeah. They're going to save EK. That shit would have been out. I was already known yeah. before I started rapping. Yeah. The rapping got lit two, three years after. Gotcha. I was been known. It would have been out. Yeah. I'm rapping for too long. I've been rapping for too long talking about <laughs> everybody. You think that shit would have never came out? Yeah, somebody would have produced some some paperwork or something. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Damn, son. You know, when earlier you said you you know, you know met K-Flock, this and that, we all know y'all meet, y'all going up, y'all doing y'all thing, and then... Did you meet him before Eda or Eda before? I met Fuck. him before Eda. Got you. I guess the question, the million dollar question is what made you side with Eda as opposed to siding with Flock if you met Flock before? Cause bro, it's like Eda and them, they was like reasonable. They ain't beefing. So now they trying to pick, see who we going to go with. Okay. So I'm like, I fuck with both of y'all, bro. I'm not getting into that. Yeah. So Eda and them understand it. Gotcha. K Flock not understanding it. He talking crazy, you bugging, these my ops, ah, they do, they smoke with the ops, bro. I'm like, bro, you just trying, bro. And I know K-Flop. Yeah. Every time I used to link with Eda on them, he never liked them, period, before that. So he found the reason to beef with them. Mm. You know, I kind of heard that. I ain't going to lie. I heard, because I interviewed 41 Hemi, and he was basically saying that, because Eda, and I don't know if it's true. I'm hearing this from somebody. Eda was kind of lit 
at that point. He was the latest drill rapper before all of us. Yeah. Before any name you know. Yeah. And then I think Flock was asking him for a feature or something. And Edot was kind of like... No, nah, I don't think they ever did a song. They never... They nah, never, I know. I think... We, we was on some street shit so much, it was never about doing a song. Like, K-Flock and K about the music. Oh, I'm the okay. one that put him in the studio, bro. He told me, I don't care about music, EK. I'm not a rapper. Yeah. I'm the one that made him make an Instagram. He never even had an Instagram. He was still on Facebook. Wow. So what made him... What was the issue with Edot? What made him dislike him? Even before everything, why didn't he like him? Because he was saying, like... EK, you always just jacking niggas shit because I was just throwing up OY oh, my pictures <laughs> instead of OGs. Niggas yeah. just feeling the way. Like, <laughs> niggas just be weird, bro. Yeah. Like, I fuck with them niggas, bro. Like, <laughs> what you want me to do? I'm cool with them. <laughs> and then, nigga was just, bro, he, he thought they wasn't tough, bro. He like, them niggas is pussy, bro. They little boys, bro. Gotcha. Uh -uh. Gotcha. Gotcha. Did, did you, like, I remember I asked um, some, of the, some of the guys over there, some of the OYs, I was like, you know, when, when they linked up with the OGs and all that, with, with y'all, did the older guys, because I know back in the days. They was beefing. Yeah. Was there ever older guys that came around y'all like, yo, what are y'all doing? Y yeah. Know? Niggas was saying that on our side. And niggas on their side was saying, like, the older niggas, like, yo, we used to beef with y'all block, uh, yeah. uh, shit like that. So then when we beefed again, yo, it was older niggas on my block posting, man, shit, see, that niggas want to link up with anybody. <laughs> Bridges was ready to burn. Yeah. Yo, that was niggas is... Good for y'all niggas, shit like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, d did you understand him or you kind of was like, yo, I don't care, I'm I'm cool with my decision? You know? Yeah, I'm cool with my decision because uh, I rode out with OY to the wheels fellow all the way, bro. Yeah. All the way. I was about to beef him out, block all types of shit for them niggas, bro. Gotcha. Which I think, y'all gonna smoke my dead and I'm gonna pick y'all niggas? That yeah. don't make no sense. Gotcha. Gotcha. You know, now we see the separation, obviously. You know, well, before we get to that, you know, you. Although there's some people who wasn't really fond of the OYs, you was tight as hell with Eda. you know what I'm saying? So his passing, what was the what was that experience like for you? It was crazy because I was with him two days before he died, and it was still tension. Niggas just ain't no. Okay. I was with him, though. Gotcha. So when I was with him, he was like, yeah, I'm at the back door, man. I'm like, shut the fuck up, bro. Like, he yeah. hard, man, hard thinking... We about to do something, bro. You really my mans, bro. And then I wanted to show him, like, nigga, look, we really lit, nigga. We really rappers now. Cause yeah. we both live in Jersey at this time now. So now I'm like, we, oh, nigga, let me show you my crib, nigga. Yeah. Cause he really seen where I came from. We was coming up together. That's a fact. So we was all getting late thinking we leaving him behind and shit. Ah, uh, he felt like that. Yeah. Yeah, got you. Do you, and this, you say what you feel, you know what I'm saying? No pressure on it. Do you, f you know, you have some people saying he took his life, then you have other people saying, yo, you know, we don't believe that. You knowing him, you seeing him. That nigga ain't take his life, bro. I don't believe that shit. Yeah. Are you saying that because you just can't rap I don't it? believe that shit, bro. I was with him, bro, two days before he died, bro. Was he happy? How, how did he feel? Nah, he wasn't happy and shit. He was smack, like, off mad drugs, but I still don't believe it, bro. Yeah. Gotcha. He know the stake of this shit, bro, like. Yeah. He know niggas, mad niggas would be smoking on him. He know how rich he could get off of this shit, bro. Yeah. So I dead don't believe that shit, bro. Got you. His funeral now, I know you have went right, but you, mm -hmm. didn't, you didn't stay for long because I guess they said block work was coming or something like that. Yeah, they think I didn't stay for that cat. Oh, okay. Well, I happened? stood for the funeral. Okay. I seen him. I left. Got you. Then, you know, when you about to, I think it was when, when the next day when they about to bring the body to the cemetery. Gotcha. That's when they said I ain't carry it because Block Hook was coming. Yeah. What? Bro, I'm not playing, bro, because y'all niggas think it's a game. I'm not playing around. I think I would see Block Work. I'm not, if I see Block Work, no funny shit, I'm doing something. Yeah. Okay, like, you know what to do that, just eat our shit. I don't care, bro. Yeah. I'm I'm doing something to that nigga when I see him. So for that, I left. Gotcha. Gotcha. You know, he did, uh, when I, when I spoke to him, he did express his, uh, I guess, remorse for. Edot and kind of like he felt wrong for ever going at Edot because I know they was going at one another. I'm trying to say I was mad at that. Yeah. Hey, I'm trying to let Blockwork come and he said in the song, if, if Edot, if he catch Edot, he going to kill him. Yeah. Man, what? Dude, that's, bro, that's a clout move. That nigga do everything for clout. That's why I was mad at Shaka Hill, y'all pussy. And niggas mm. let a nigga like that rock after he's... He, bro, last time I spoke to Edot, he said when I see Block, I'm going to do something. I used to argue with Edot about this all the time. Like, bro, I, you be mad about Blockwood, bro. If I see him, I'm going to do something to that nigga, bro. Yeah. So y'all niggas trying to let him, jack him, and do all, even that tribute. That shit, I ain't feel sad for him or nothing. Yeah. 
you wear it, bro. God, you want to do that shit for clothes for views, bro. Can I, can I ask this? And and you know them more than me, but you know your your opinion. Sometimes when you younger, you're more emotional. You more you get angered quickly. Could could he just had a moment where he was just mad and he he acted out of anger? But then the past, you know how sometimes people That's pass away and you like, damn son, it wasn't worth me beefing with my mans. I really love him. Could you give him a pass for that or no? Yeah, it could have been that. That's what people was telling me. Like that was really his friend from yeah, younger before younger. they knew me. Yeah. But bro, you crazy though, bro. That was crazy. Me if I know I if I know I was on some shit like that, I won't even show fake love, bro. Yeah. I would just keep that shit to myself. Got you. Got you. You kind of, I feel like you it bothered you when a lot of people show love because I think even Busy Banks it it you it didn't sit well with you. Yeah. And then look, I I posted something like y'all rappers. Our, our nigga knew it was for him. I ain't say no names. Yeah. He just knew it was for him. See how everybody knew it was for him? I don't know how you even knew it was for him. Yeah. Nigga texted me. Yeah. Going crazy, little dirty nigga. Why the fuck you talking about me? Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. Busy Banks text me talking crazy and shit. Yeah, but. And I'm like, nigga, last time I spoke to Eli, he's not jacking you, bro. Yeah. I was with Eli two days before he died, bro. We talked about everything because we wasn't chilling with each other like that. It was tension. Got my you. little niggas from his, from my hood was arguing niggas from his hood, so it was tension. Yeah. So nigga, we was talking about everything. Nigga, he did not jack Busy Banks. Yeah. In the beginning, he did though. He, yeah. He, they had a good relationship, did they? That's like the in the beginning. And I know, I guess he, he went and did his own thing, but I guess at some time, what was he saying was the reasons he wasn't really jacking? Uh... Because um, all the fucking um, all that shit that happened that night at the, he the reason why they see. That smoking shit. Like, eat out his own man, he did what he did. Yeah. But if he ain't know you, and eat out for like, that's what hurt his career, bro. Got you. Got you. You know, I think like, um, I, I think he said he did. Did he? Did he? See, I don't think he, I don't think Busy knew that all of the guys, all of the guys was going to come through like all the wild G's. I don't think he knew that. And it, this is what he was telling me. He was like, Yo, I ain't know that they was gonna bring such and such. So he was, but he said they did control the situation. Nobody touched Edot. Does he get a little bit of credit for that? That's or, a fact. Okay. Because okay. what? I would have walked in the room with them niggas. Nobody could save me. Yeah. I was never, but at the point, they didn't really have beef for a while. Um, YG's. Yeah, they didn't have um, beef for a while like that. Okay, okay, okay. Damn. They got beef for a while because. The Wulali situation, they never had beef with niggas. Got you. Got you. I do think the smoker situation was kind of, um, it, it, it was a little bad. Um, and I still stuck by my son's side. Niggas yeah. from my block like, what? You're not chilling with that nigga? Oh, yeah. nigga, even my son beat out. He like, bro, be careful linking that nigga. I'm like, bro, my son not. When I went and linked Eli after that, the niggas around him, 330, his older nigga was saying, you got to go do something because you smoked it out, bro. You bugging, like. Yeah. You got it. That was bad. Even niggas around him were saying it was bad because he went and leave. Niggas knew that. He, he don't knew that the niggas was gonna be there. Uh -huh. That's why he didn't go with nobody by himself. Wait, he knew they was gonna be there. Yeah. So why go by yourself? Because the man is that everybody was being able to stop it, and he. I don't know, bro. He just went yeah. by himself because he knew if maybe they took niggas, they would have been. It would have went down. Yeah, something would have happened. Okay, understood. Sure it went down. But it's like that's a scary position to be in, man. And remember these niggas, is little niggas, eat on them, is little kid at this time. They don't know what's going on. They just came outside. Yeah, they don't know yeah. what's going on. The real shit. Me, I would have never went. in. a manager could have told me come to that party that night. Yeah, I would have never went. Yeah, just how you never know. You really never know. Damn. Oh, wow. And then that happens. You you stick by his side and and all that. And um, I guess uh, after that, you know, like we said, he 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 passed away. And then now with with block work, you know, I remember, I remember um. Yeah, do D and D. Yeah, do D and D. But at that point, that point, you're 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 in a deal with. You're in a management deal with Fr and Kobe, right? Mm -hmm. How does that even get to happen? Like, I I remember I used to hit you up, but I never knew who was your manager, so I just didn't know who to reach out to. But when I found out it was Kobe and Fr, I was like, Yo, what the hell? Like, how did you even get with them? Because Kobe, 
Kobe. She was just trying to help me and eat on shit. She was trying to help us because we ain't had no hope. Yeah. At this point, King Falcon and them is lit. They getting signed. Yeah. We was the niggas that was going at it with them. We ain't had no hope. We was just rapping on YouTube. Yeah. So now she like, yo, I got three options or four options for you. Management deal, production. I ain't know what to do. They explained it and I picked the one that sounded the best at the time. Gotcha. It came to Sugar Hill maybe, and I sounded it in the car. Gotcha. Okay. Now, I remember when I interviewed her, I asked her a question. I was like, why you ain't promote EK? You know, like that was a question. And that's what I was saying. Like, she was hard on me. Yeah, yeah. But she admitted that. She was like, yo, you know what? Like, I never, I didn't want to do this. I think FR was kind of pushing her to do it. He wanted to. But then she said, like, you and FR just couldn't get along at all. What was it about him that it, it just, his energy that just. He probably, like, on some grown man shit, like, I'm not about to listen to some little nigga that don't know what's going on. Yeah. Shit like that. Me, I'm on some. Bro, you not even, I've been had cut before I was with y'all niggas. Yeah. You only paid for three videos, brother. Gotcha. How you want 200000 out of my deal? You only paid for three videos. Yeah. Damn. So that's what I was on. Like, that was crazy. Gotcha. Well, why didn't you, like, want to listen to him sometimes? Was it, was it like, was it like, um, and, and I'm going to ask this, and it's no offense. Sometimes I feel like, like, I got cousins who... A lot, a lot of them was just raised with their moms, and they they listen more to women than they would like a male figure. Do you feel like that was the position you had, or you felt like his approach to you was wrong? I really wasn't feeling that nigga because, nigga, I'm acting a video, nigga. CPD, I'm at CPD C off them. Yeah, CPD even stopped fucking with them behind that shit, bro. Wow. CPD was at fault came with me. Wow. He stopped fucking with them behind that situation because he knew what that nigga was doing wrong. I'm calling him like, what a video? Why he like? And false, don't send it to you until he, until he ready for you to get it. shit like that. I'm like, what? You bugging? Okay. And I'm calling Corey with my video. Like, ah, oh, oh. shit. Like, I'm gonna talk to him. Shit like that. Yeah. Moving like he my pops and shit. You bugging? Got you. Got you. Man, and then I guess you. Then the D and D record. They do something. They do something. No, they didn't do nothing with that. <clears throat> but I'm just rapping now. Now I'm not. Nah, nah. They already did two videos for me. Yeah. Um. Just, Respectfully, and shake that. They, got you. They got to, They got a spot for me to to um shoot the video at. Two spots. Not, not to stop you here. We're gonna remember that the deal that you signed. It was a production deal, production right? Production deal. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. No, all right. so so now, alright. So the third one, the third video yeah. was D and D. Gotcha. But they had nothing to do with it. We just did the song. Boom. We did the song. I shoot get shot part two. Yeah. I put the preview of me and Blockwork shit in there and D and D. Yeah. So that's how I knew. First, we just make the song. Boom, we make the song with my man's crib. Nobody wanted to get on the song because mm. Block was a bozo. <laughs> Yo, hold on. <laughs> Wait, but why? Like, why? Like, at that time, y'all was cool. Niggas, Eda, Benga, all the old niggas, and us. He in the crib. He comes to my man's crib to record. He like, we like, yo, Delilah just died. Ah, uh, ah, uh, that's, that's what we talking about. So we like, oh, word, nigga, we got to diss her. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Yeah. He goes. He was saying, yo, he had this written down for mad long. This is his biggest. Stop the, stop the cap. You wrote that shit right there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And freestyled the rest. So yeah. I guess he he gets on the track. Boom. So now he asks my man's lefty that's out there. Lefty goon. Yeah. He asks him to get on the track. He like, nah. He asks PJ, nah. Everybody laughing, giggling. He asks Eda, nah. Nobody want to get on it. I'm like, fuck it. Since Delilah died, I'm getting on the track. That's the only way he got a song with me. Wow. He's not lit at this time. Yeah. He don't yeah. got no views. Yeah. She was saying not even 10,000. Yeah. There was nobody at this time. So why you think I dropped it? Because I got the cloak, brother. Yeah. You know, at this time, niggas was paying me 1500 for a feature at this time. Yeah. And I did it for free because you was from OR. And everybody telling me, why you did a song with that nigga, bro? Like, his own niggas telling me why I did a song with him. So boom, then it was time to shoot the video. I needed an outfit. Okay. Kobe got me to fit. Yeah. Somebody from Sugar Hill, a female. She had the hotel, so... Somebody, I forgot who it is. They had a hotel party. We just went there, shoot the video. Yeah. So now I told Cole, we got a song. Uh, she brought me a polo, sweatsuit, and some ups. Then went to the, shoot the video. Boom. Now she take me and Blockwork in the room. I ain't had no bread. Yeah. So she like, because she see Blockwork flashing money in the video. So she put me in the room first. Like, yo, make this nigga pay for the video. Pay half. Uh, uh he got the money. Uh, uh, that's not my artist. You only my artist. Yeah. Uh, uh. So she made Blockwork pay 250 and she paid the rest. 
Because gotcha. the video of me was saying 500. Gotcha. Okay. Understandable. Bet. So then we shot the video. Boom. We drop it. Shit didn't really go viral. Shit ain't do nothing. So now I stopped talking to Kobe and them. I'm not talking to F on them. Yeah. Boom. Shit. Just one day I just see mad people talking to me about D&D. Like three months later. Yeah. Three months passed now. I'm on. I'm forgetting about D and D. I'm not even yeah. thinking about shit. Start going TikTok crazy. Yeah. So now it's blowing up now. Yeah. Blowing up. That that's and, how it be working sometimes. But yeah. So then I had it on my page on my United Master. Eat yeah. out told me how to get money. I taught mad niggas out here how to get money right now. Yeah. Off United Master, a lot of niggas ain't know about that. So Eat on was making mad money. I'm like, how you rapping and making mad money? He show me. I start dropping, boom. So once I start blowing up, I'm really making mad money off that shit. Yeah. 3,000, 4,000. Yeah. Then I got the 7,000. Lit. Then one day I couldn't, that, I'm trying to take out the 7,000 now, like all at once. I went, this time around, I knew noodles. United Master was the only way I was making money. I couldn't get a job, nothing. Yeah. So, I, noodles had put me, I met, one day I'm in my girl crib, my baby mom crib. She, my, um, I was on his phone with Lil TJ. Yeah. He like, I'm like, yo, bro. I'm like, yo, bro, why the fuck you, um, I told him, like, yo, put me on. Yeah. I'm like, he he, he asked me, like, bro, you want to make it? Like, you want to sign to me? I'm like, yeah, I want to sign to you, bro. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Yeah. So now you like, fuck it. It's a nigga that I was, use, I was using for rentals and shit like that. Um, I'm going to call him right now. He going to yeah. manage you. Boom, he called him. News was like, if Lil TJ, if Lil TJ telling me about you, I know you're gonna go somewhere. I'm coming right now. That's what's up. Came right there on the spot. Boom. Talk to me. Ah, uh, my dumb ass again. It's just, me is basically like a hit and miss. Everything's a risk. Yeah. My dumb ass again. Signed to noodles. Yeah. I don't know lawyer, nothing. Boom, I signed to noodles. So I phone him like, what? Well, why why you wanna see why you wanna fuck a little TJ and them now? Ah, uh, ah. Uh, Could they give you five thousand dollars? Uh, uh, like, we was riding with you before anybody knew you, before niggas just want to, niggas just see you got potential now, that's why they want you. Uh, uh, like, bro, you trying, bro, this is my career, I'm trying to go, y'all not doing nothing for me, I haven't talked to y'all in three months. Yeah. Like, mean, so now, get to the point now, we trying to get out the contract, Noodles is basically bringing me to different labels, okay. and me not knowing, I'm talking to FL, like, bro, like, let me go, bro, because I'm yeah. talking to these labels, he's calling those labels, you sign your kid, I'm going to sue you. Mm, okay. Now let's say this for business purposes. Do because I feel like for business purpose, I get his point, right? But then I understand you too, because you're looking at it like, yo, bro, you barely did anything for me. That's the the part you was looking at it, right? Thank you. Got you. Okay. Okay. So yeah. So now and you the call... shit you did, we really could count it up and give you the bread back. Yeah. Unfortunately, it just doesn't work like that. That's the unfortunate thing. You. That's the sad part, but but yeah, go go ahead. Man, he was gonna give you ten thousand. Whoever saw me was gonna give you ten thousand, twenty thousand. Let me go. Yeah, nigga, I'm still not jacking it. Uh, uh, got to the point. Where I sent Trap Manny from Highbridge. I'm telling him, he like, bro, just get that nigga two tapes. Uh, uh, bro, and then you out of that contract. I'm like, nah, nigga, this could be my two tapes that blow up, nigga. You bugging yeah. out, giving that nigga nothing. Yeah. So then, yeah, now I'm with noodles. He bring me into his crib. I'm like, mm -hmm. bro, I got mad beef, bro. Like, I can't live in my hood. Mm -hmm. Ah, so now he bring me to his crib. I'm in his crib. I'm living there. Yeah. Boom, like just from D and D was my last video. Yeah. I I stopped dropping. So now, I'm, cause I'm in the contract. Noodles trying to get me out the contract. But one day I'm in the crib. I'm about to cash out the seven thousand. I look. Yeah. It usually go to PayPal. Yeah. It was not there. So now Noodles made my lawyer. That's my lawyer now. Check it. Yeah. He like it says KVH. They basically said that. I fucking um. Stole somebody soon. Like, what? Wow. So the whole time, I was beefing on FR. FR went and linked up with Blockwork. God, so you had no knowledge of that? No. He went up and linked up with Blockwork. Ah, uh, uh, so Noodles went, the lawyer went, and it said Blockwork and KVH. Damn. So basically, they freeze your money, and once you got a full thing on United Master, you can't use it no more. They're kicking you off. Okay. Wow. So now I'm like, nah, what? Oh, uh, he like, yeah, bro, your man's name is on it. Like, so now I FaceTime him. With noodles on the line, I'm like, yo, noodles, this nigga's capping, saying he ain't signed nothing. He like, EK, you the one with the manager, I don't know about no manager shit, I ain't never signed no paperwork, nothing. Block work and saying Yeah, so now noodles put him on the phone, show him all that, he's still lying. Boom. Yeah. Now, I go outside, I'm looking for you. Where did my mother? I went to his block, 
I walked I ain't had no money for a cab. Yeah. Into the I walked to Sugar Hill, that big ass bridge yeah. to cross over by the Yankee Stadium. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I walked over there looking for him. Uh-uh, niggas on the block was saying shit. All types of shit, bro. You lied, bro. That's yeah. the main point. You let a nigga faint thing. you. If I was telling him, yo, bro, he going to live with me is without you. Shit like that. Mm. Nigga, they didn't want us for no duo, nigga. Fuck, we wasn't a duo. Yeah. They just wanted Shai K. Yeah. Got you. Got you. Damn, you know, when I had FR here, he said something. He was just like, yo, you know, I'm looking at it like... I'm looking at it like, I guess the deal him and Koei had was she didn't need two signatures to let you go, basically. And look, that's what, that's what okay. it was. Okay. He, he had us thinking the whole time he signed. Mm. It was only her who signed it. So the whole time he's saying he's going to sue, he never signed it. So my lawyer went and read every paper, 90 pages, and figured out he never signed it. <laughs> so now the only person we needed to let us go is Koei. Koei. Was she okay with letting you go, or was there a little bit of tension? She was, she she figured that we told. She like, oh what, uh uh, I guess she knew that. I don't know. If she knew to be honest. I don't know. But then news like, yo, I'ma talk to her. Uh, news pulled up yeah. on her. F R saying we pressured her, got her scared and shit. That's what he was saying. We pressured her, got her scared and shit. We pulled. They up did on. that a lot back in the days. Like you can't, you don't let somebody out of deal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get out, or I'm gonna get out. <laughs> so niggas pulled up yeah. on. Niggas pulled up on. I guess news pulled up on. Her. And they came to an agreement. Yeah. And yeah. she let me out for money. She ain't do it for free, but. Yeah, yeah, she took some. Now. Me, I was tight. Like, what? Like, you know that I was fucked up. Like, yeah. Fuck it. Got you. She was like, um, I think, no. Yeah, she told me how much she. Well, FR told me how much she got, I believe. But like FR 30, told me. Yeah, FR told me he got a little more, right? Like. Yeah, he's like 75. He makes it sound he got 250 or some crazy shit. Yeah, yeah. Nah, they faint dangled y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Wanna lie to y'all, sign niggas for one month just to get the song D and D. Got you. Cause I didn't care about D and D. I'm saying let that shit go. I don't care. Like nah, this is a big song. Yeah. You gonna get a plaque for this? Uh, I'm like, I don't, I don't give a fuck about that. Yeah. They was trying to let it You go. don't care? Like like I mean I don't care all the beef I got in the world with somebody. If this song about to give me a plaque, let's let's push this. You, At you the time I'm not caring about that. I'm got not you. thinking about no fucking plaque or nothing. So I didn't yeah. care. Gotcha. Gotcha. I'm just Damn. tight. This nigga thinking this is my biggest song. Yeah. Worse, so that's why I, I ain't care about it. Got you. Understood. Understood. Man, son, I feel like it, all of those things happened so early in your music career. Was you? Did you ever, at any point while this was happening, did you ever say to yourself, like, yo, man, I don't even want to do this anymore. Like, I'm, I'm just done. Yeah, with it. I stopped now. Yeah. I'm in Noodle's crib, tight, shit not going. Niggas telling Noodle to stop working with me and shit because yeah. I'm in a contract and I got mad beef. I give yeah. a fuck about none of that shit no more. I'm like, fuck music. Then I start seeing niggas like bum ass UGs going up and shit. I'm like, <laughs> what? You bugging. I'm coming back. You yeah. bugging. Yeah, yeah. And I went back to my block, left Noodles crib, went back to my mall crib and started dropping mad videos. Yeah. I, I always say there's this point in your career where you was dropping like every other week. And I was like, nah, he got it right now. Like, he got it. Like, I guess that was the motivation. That was the period of time where you yeah. just were like, I'm going to go crazy. Yeah. I'm like, that nigga Noodle stopped calling. The label stopped calling. I'm mm. like, fuck all them niggas. I don't give a fuck about none of that. I'm going to go. Something going to happen with this shit. Yeah. Then I started dropping. You, yeah. Drop OG. Yeah. Shit went on. I'm like, yo, I ain't dropping three months. This shit hit 300K. Before I was dropping before that, this shit never went crazy like this. Yeah. Boom. Then I dropped, I think, Face of the Watch here, a million. Yeah. In a week. I knew it. That's what Noodle sent me up, like, yo, we see what's going on. Like, I'm like, yeah, nigga. I That's how I go back, nigga. Cause I'm getting lit. I told you. Yeah. I told you. Yeah, yeah. Then that's when he called me one day, like, I told you go on your side, nigga. You out of that contract. Wow. I'm like, word, oh word. What was that feeling like when you I was dumb hype. Yeah. I yeah. knew it was time. Yeah. The same day I got out the contract, I went to a label meeting with Interscope. What was some of the bags they was throwing at you? If you could talk about it, like not no crazy because we drill rappers. Everybody be trying to make it seem like they getting two, three, four, five. No, drill yeah. rappers not getting that type of fucking money, nigga. Yeah, one niggas is liability, and two niggas just got a couple hundred thousand views. Okay, they not getting millions of dollars. Yeah, so they were talking nine hundred thousand, three hundred thousand, five hundred thousand, gotcha. shit like that. Gotcha. Okay, okay, nothing more than a million. Yeah, when niggas be saying they got signed for. 
three point something. That'd be like your max though. Your shit could say three point something, but you're not getting that. Yeah. That's your max right? after you do all your tapes and your album. Yeah. So you be faking. I could have been said I got signed for four million dollars. Yeah. They just be faking, gang. Got you. Just to make it look good. Yeah. Okay, okay. Bet. bet. So that's why niggas was mad when I got signed, because I exposed this whole shit. I exposed every drill rapper. Yeah. All this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. They yeah. never want me to get nowhere, because they know, like... You're going to be honest with it. Yeah. Got you. Got so you. then, once Warner heard... Because I had linked up with Warner before. Yeah. Once Warner heard, I linked up with Interscope. They on it now. He pulled up... I'm, I'm laying on the floor, nigga. Yeah. In my mom crib, in the living room. I don't want to sleep in the same room as my brother no more. I got a girl. Yeah. I'm in the living room, nigga, on my mattress. Yeah. You want to call me? Yo, come sign right now. Come sign right now. What you mean? He like, yeah, noodles playing around. He the reason why you're not signing right now. What? But I'm still closer to just signing anything. Yeah. He like, I told noodles. He said, you the reason. You bugging, bro. Like, nigga, you got other shit in life. This is the only thing I got, nigga. Like, you bugging, bro. He like, what? All right, let me call your lawyer. He called my lawyer. My lawyer said, yeah, he can go sign, but I want to be there when I do it. So yeah. if y'all can wait. I'm not waiting, nigga. I'm he, going to oh, sign now. Come pick me up right now, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nigga pick oh, me man. Up. What was your family saying when my you My mom got... was about to go to church. She don't miss church for nothing. Yeah. <laughs> she missed church for the sign. <laughs> yeah. Like, she don't miss church for nothing. Yeah. I told her about the song. She's like, what? I'm coming. Yeah. My mom, my sister, my That's baby mom. He went. That's fire. That's a blessing. That's a blessing. She so was like, 10 at night. Yeah. I don't give a damn before it's 2 time? in the morning, 3 in the morning. I'm going there. Thanks, so. Word. But I bet you, you signing everything now. I feel like you kind of throw the issues on 4 1. <laughs> like, they kind of took the they took the slack for how you felt about um I fall because now I fall. I'm signed, but I still ain't get the bread yet. Okay. Because I ain't have my ID, no social, no nothing. Remember you saying EK was a John Doe? Remember you said yeah, that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I ain't have nothing. I have my social birth certificate, nothing. Yeah. Wow. So I couldn't get the bread. Or I have a bank account. Wow. So I signed on February 4th and got the bread March 4th. A whole month. Yeah, so the whole month, nigga, I'm buzzing. Little rapper, I just don't got the money. Yeah. So now I'm telling you niggas, where the fuck is the money at? And was like, I don't believe this shit. I don't believe I'm signed, bro. Yeah. Uh, uh, He's like, bro, you're a sign artist, bro. So where yeah. the money at? Now I feel you, though, because it's like, I don't care about these views. Give no, me my no. money, bro. Like, gangster. <laughs> so yeah. now, that one of my mans from my hood, mom working at DMV, she see me wilding. Yeah. So she like, oh, word, yo, chill. I got you right now. I'm going to help you. Uh, uh. So then they figured out, they're like, you got a sister? We're like, yeah. She's like, so bring your sister. She could, she could cover all the other points. God, so my ID, my sister, my guardian, went to God, pick my God. sister up. I, I was back on my mom, all that. Yeah. That should have been told me this. Before my pop down, mom was tight. I got my ID and shit. She said, I'm out. She got out on Fordham and walked. She didn't want to be the car with us. Yeah, yeah. She walked all the way from Fordham, <laughs> all the way back to the block. She said, I should have went to church. <laughs> Let's talk TJ. <laughs> you did, I heard, but I don't know if this is true. I heard you signed to TJ. That's a fact. When I signed to Noodles, I signed to TJ. Got you. Okay. Now, I think y'all good. You know what I'm saying? I did... What, what, what became the issue with you and TJ? Because he always seemed to shout you out, say things about, yo, Shai K, or whatever the case may be. What was the issue you had with him, though? All right. It's like, you, it's like you said, I don't even know where to start. So many. Like... I forgot what it was. He was just, oh, they niggas thinking it's 4 1, shit like that. Okay. Nah, bro. It was, like, I didn't care. I was been telling him, like, you bugging. I'm 4 1 K, bro. Like, yeah. he was mad that I was cool with Harvard. I'm not oh. getting into between two people I fuck with again. I just did that with Edon K Flop. Yeah. I'm not getting into that again, bro. So I was minding my business, bro. Even when he got shot and all that, I was tight, all that. Yeah. So, nigga, from there. He always he started putting four one on because I fucked with Harbridge. The whole time I'm thinking we cool though. Yeah, yeah. The nigga tried to slime me out and text my baby mom. No way. Nobody knew this, bro. Gangster. And one day we was at my label me in. Remember when he was posting YK Osiris? Like he, he fucked YK Osiris, baby mom. That's how he wanna be for him. Yeah. He was trying to do that to me. So the whole time I'm thinking we cool. He was trying to build something to have something on me once we started beefing. Oh. Damn, TJ, come on. And if she was nasty, I would have never knew. She would actually 
Yeah. See what I'm trying to say? So when she tells you that, does she show you or she just saying nah, it to look, you? Now look, now we're in the label meeting. We talking, what, what we should do, yeah. what why, what I think they not doing, shit like that. And Noodle just bring it up like, oh yeah. And and, and, and little TJ was trying to text his name. Uh, uh, I ain't want to tell you because I know how you get. Uh, I'm like, what? Me and I be beefing. I be able to beefing on and on. So I wasn't speaking to her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I saw her and she showed me. Wow. So I text him, nigga. No, I didn't even text him. I posted so he could know. Yeah. Smoke is smelly, nigga. Oh, that's what made you say that. I th- I'm not gonna lie. I Everybody thought it was the think song. It was four one. Yeah, four with four one. Wow, come on, TJ. You know they say he just messed with Ice Spice while she was with Riot. I don't know if that's true though, but that's what they saying. That shit, that shit not fools. A lot of shit don't be fake, but it should be real, bro. Damn. Now you probably thinking to yourself like, yo, bro, I trusted you. Like, is that the thoughts? Yeah, and then my niggas been told me to be for you and all that, and I still, what I would try, I actually knew you before you was famous. I got pictures with him before he was famous. Yeah, like, really yeah. chilling, robbing niggas with him, all that. You saw he was saying, yo, I told him everything. Yeah, yeah, he was like, I had him under the wing and shit. like that, bro. Yeah. Like, I really knew you, nigga. So you try to do some shit like that. And I'm thinking you'd be cool at the time. Yeah. you do that, took him out cash out. Basically, he was trying to sell her money. Damn. So wow. I told him, suck my dick, nigga. I'm smoking smelly, nigga. Then yeah. he talked to noodles. He tried to say, I've been new. You never knew her. She don't know you from all the world. She don't know who the fuck you are. Yeah. But even, I, I, I guess even if she did know him, what's... what's... He's trying to say, niggas, she, he knew her from back in the day. We all, no, no. She did not know you, nigga. He's trying to say... So noodles already knew I was going to go crazy once he did that. Damn. So that's what I'll be for him. So wow. now you mad that I'm saying smoking smelly, nigga. You know what you try to do. Yeah. Then you... you you know, I'm curious to know why you didn't tell the world that, like, you know, why? Because I ain't, yeah. I don't know, I just ain't, yeah. I ain't want to tell niggas that, I yeah. ain't really think about it. Yeah. I just let niggas, I always just let certain shit, I let niggas just put their own perspective. Because yeah. like I'm not going to lie, own. EK, sometimes we be looking like, all right, EK, you wildin' now, but I guess there you have valid reasons, you just, you know what's crazy? I be like that sometimes, like, I don't say how I feel, I just react. So people might be like, yo, P, you bugging out. But I'm not saying exactly why, but I got a valid reason. And now I'm seeing it like you got a valid reason. That's a valid reason. Right, wow. Crazy. Damn. And, and did, he, did he, of course he didn't apologize, right? No. Damn. If he would have apologized, would you accept no. it? Yeah, a little too far. That's I'm it. me. Once you beef with me, yeah. it's beef, bro. Once you yeah. try to play and tarnish my character, yeah. it's up. And it's, it's, it's a little different. And especially too, me. My whole career, everybody always know EK full on with the niggas he chill with. Yeah. So, <laughs> niggas, you know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you doing that over me being with Harbridge and shit like that, you weird, bro, because I knew y'all niggas from the streets. We don't know music shit with Harbridge. Yeah. Colin and Harbridge been linked up over 20 years, so it was like... That's a fact, yeah. Wow. Damn, TJ. Did you ever feel like he should have given you a... Uh, a feature long time ago? Hell yeah, nigga. I'm, I was your fucking artist and I'm your means, nigga. But me, I'm not a nigga that dick ride. I don't care about it. Yeah. I don't care, gang. Yeah. Like, I'm signed to you. You doing songs with K-Flock and shit. Yeah. Knowing it's my main aunt. But you not, you don't, you not between it because you fuck with both of us. You knew both of us. Yeah. And you not, you not tripping about that. No. Exactly. But you still not doing it. Why you post me up? And when once we once we arguing, you post me up mad times talking about me all that, but you couldn't post me up and do that share my music when mm-hmm. we was cool. See Damn. what I'm trying to say? Valid point. You post me more when we beefing as opposed to when we're actually on good. You terms. never posted me. You just said my name in the interview. Damn. Yo, you, you, you. I mean, you got valid points, bro. I. I I want to see and certain like, shit. I just be bugging certain shit. I'll be yeah, bugging. yeah, yeah. But nah, bro, you was crazy, bro. Yeah, yeah. Cause I remember I had um <clears throat> I had Fr up here, and I was just like, yo, you know, um, we were talking about the situation you going at TJ, and I was like, I think we was kind of like, nah. I he was think... saying, yo, you burning the bridge. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Shut the fuck up, Fr. Yeah, you but... know what the fuck you be talking about? Yeah, yeah. that's why I hate everybody you interview. Say my name, like. Everybody like they got problems with eat like say their name. Wow, like yeah, they interview yeah. be lit because of me, bro. Yeah, you just now, but you, I'm not gonna lie though. You, you, you're, you, I, I, I'm, you're a hot commodity in New York, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, 
we going to have to say your name, man. But nah, that's crazy. I mean, I wouldn't expect TJ to do that. That that me, I can never see myself um talking to my mans, especially the baby moms. We all know there's certain girls like, you know, we go all mess with, but baby moms, wifey, like you know to stay away from that, you know what I'm saying? So, damn, that sucks. Yeah, back to 4-1. Um so kind of like since since you going at FR, you just take it to 4-1 and all that. But you know them in the past, right? Did y'all? Mm. I think... 4-1? Yeah, Edot was cool with them and all that. Nah, Blockwork. Once we dub Blockwork, he started chilling with them. Gotcha. Gotcha. So okay. now because Kyle Rich had made a song with my balls and then shooting his shot, shit like that. Yeah. Made a song and it was going crazy a little bit. Yeah. So he had found them niggas. Oh, this is how he found them because he was... We was wondering why he was chilling with them the whole time. We like, you chilling with Brooklyn niggas now? Yeah. You linked up with them off of all, off that contract. Because they was going to... Bro, at first, at fall, they didn't have Kyle Rich. Yeah. He didn't have Kyle Rich. It was just Tata yeah. and two Spanish niggas. The yeah. J nigga, the light skin singer nigga. Yeah, I remember. I remember. I don't forget nothing. Like, well, yeah. I, I think yeah, I, now, I if remember, they even think I forgot about them. Like, yeah. <laughs> I remember um, I remember KR... Cause I'm I interviewed KR. I was the first person to interview KR. He had like four thousand followers. He was not with um, FR no, at all. No, FR saw that and jumped on the way because Blockwork linked up with him. And now when Blockwork linked up with him, FR that's your all this Blockwork, and you see this still ain't going up, and he don't got no help. Gotcha. Understood. Blockwork gotcha. probably vouched for him a son. Like yo, work with my son. He. Gotcha. I think Tata did. Tata was talking on KR. Matter of fact, yeah. Tata. Yeah, yeah. Because Tata and this nigga FR was always cool. Very FR, much so. like, like Tata Pops. Yeah. Feeding them the shit, <laughs> buying jackets. I remember like when I interviewed Tata, he, he made a bold statement. You know? That, yo, that's what got me tight. Yeah. He said that he gave me the song One in the Head. Yeah, he said he wrote They one was trolling. They was trolling a little bit, okay, but okay, okay. I know they was in dead ass. I, I know you you responded back to him. Like, that had me tight. That's why yeah. I made that in the soul. Yeah, you said it in the song. 41 you... Shots. And then, well, no, what was that name of that song? 41 Ways. And then I they believe. made a whole tape called 41 Ways. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it should be. Yo, but them niggas, Damn. shame. I don't really care about them niggas, bro. Gotcha. Gotcha. Like, but niggas, you're, you're basically saying they never, you never, they never wrote anything for you. Like, you nah, know? hell no. How you gonna write something that's really from the heart? Yeah. That I was fake going at it with my block that song. Gotcha. So how you gonna write something like that? How you gonna say this shit I was saying? Blockwork, Keem, Trill Marty, yeah. everybody was there that night. Yeah. F R, Koei, they could tell you he ain't write that. You can't yeah. write something that's that real. Gotcha. Gotcha. Fuck. It was it was really what you was going through. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Okay, okay. What was that period like going at it with your block? Like how 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 tough is that? Because these are people you grew up with, people you love. What's that like? It was like, shit was crazy because I really grew up with y'all niggas sleeping together, sleeping on the same beds. Yeah. We in the same crib, my mom crib, my mom yeah. kicking us out. Them niggas fighting my brothers and shit for me. Yeah. Because I'm the youngest one. They think my brother bullying me and shit. Wow. They fighting my brothers for me and all, all types of shit, bro. What? Could you get into why the, y'all was going at it or? Because the Edon K Flock shit. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. But now, um, I guess, yeah, I see what you're saying. They can't write things that you, you was going through this. This is my personal experiences. Thank you. How the fuck is you going to? I hope it makes sense. Gotcha. Gotcha. You know, something that um people was, um people, everybody want me to ask you, obviously, you were cool with Bam Man, and then we see that died down. But what what they want to know too is when you I don't know if you talked about this too. When you the time when y'all was in the picture, you murder B. I think it was a video or whatever. What did you think? Cause you're like, yo, I I, don't. I thought like I could violate her right now. Yeah, I'm retarded. That's what I was thinking. Like I could really do something to her right now. Like yeah, she's stupid. Yeah, I'm like shame about nothing. I don't care about you. Yeah. What made you? What made you um, be willing to forgive like that? Like, yo, you know. What I, I forgot. That's why. We forgot what. Whatever she said, I thought I linked her. <laughs> Fuck. Yo, if I would have remember, yeah, like if I would have been on my way to my release party, <laughs> yeah. and you know she said smoking on Ida, I would have yeah. crashed her. Yeah. I forgot, bro. Even if that was your man's girl? Yeah. We want to get it off. You, you want to get it off? What he's gonna do? <laughs> he's gonna do a filthy gang, like word, like. Oh my god, man. 
But yeah, he was, you know, that's, I don't know, that's your man's girl. You can't, you, you nah, where my mother before, nah, before that was this girl, nigga, she was bugging, bro. She was gangster. Yeah, she was going. Bro, it was, at, it was to the point I could have really made him stop being around, like, yeah. He told me, like, bro, I'm about to talk to her, bro. Ah, oh, you don't feel no way. No, nigga, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Fuck that bitch. Yeah, yeah. Like, go fuck her, actually. Like, that's yeah. what I meant. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, did you think that they would be together? To the point they have a think, kid and all that. Nah. Well, a kid coming, you know. I didn't think that. Yeah. But I ain't kid either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Now, y- y- y'all yeah. fall out, was it because of her or because of. No, nah, bro, I don't, I don't even look like niggas fell out, but. Yeah. We wasn't supposed to be together for that long either. Why is that? Because I got my own wave game. Yeah. Like. But y'all had a, y'all had a cool connection. connection. Nah, we yeah. cool. He a good. I don't, when I be around him, yeah. he's not even a threat. Like, yeah. I'm not worried. I can sleep around. Like, he's not a threat. Like, I don't, not a threat. That nigga yeah. is not a threat. Yo, bro. Like, yeah. Get it? Like, he's not a threat, but he was a good nigga, bro. That nigga, like, he always fucked with me. I never seen no son or nothing. He always fucked with me. He just always yeah. me. I'm like, I know what I'm doing this for. Gotcha. I'm hoping the nigga that saw me, saw both of us, so. Mm, okay. See what I'm trying to say? I'm not, like, you heard, like, I, I never, I'm not going to say I didn't want to do it because I met him before him. Like, I was signed before him. Yeah. And the nigga asked me, you know Bam Man? Yeah, you should sign him. He nice, oh. but he's going to been sign him. I don't want to say I'm the reason why he got signed. He, but but that, did. Bam Man's from the nigga hood that signed us, so. Got he, you. But I, when he asked me about him, I said it like, yeah, you should sign him. I know who he is. He good. Yeah. He got a little buzz right now. Yeah. So from there, then we started doing tapes and shit. Yeah. The nigga said we supposed to be like baby and and little baby and gunna. I'm like, nah, that's not what I'm trying to be. Okay? Bam like, man said that? No, oh, the nigga that's Santa. Oh, okay, okay. That okay. nudist told me. I'm like, no, bro. I'm not that, bro. It's not that. Why not, though, if it was working? I ain't feel like it was working. I already gotcha. was getting millions of views. I feel like I'm helping him. Okay. But I don't got no problem with that nigga. I just got a problem with niggas here around. Okay. Got Cause now them niggas saying you was not on nothing every studio session. What? And niggas ain't no fucking threats. Yeah. I was always situated. I'm never lacking. Yeah. Nigga, I would've hurt one of y'all niggas. I never looked at nobody around him like a threat, gang. Yeah. But you know, I always ask this. How can somebody say like, <clears throat> you was not on nothing? It's like, we sitting down doing an interview. Let's say you leave and two weeks later, I'm arguing with you. And I'm like, EK, we was doing the interview. You wasn't on nothing. But there like, was no tension. No... Thank you. That's what I'm trying to say, bro. That's exactly what I'm trying to say. Yeah. And then when it came to... I'm, I'm, I'm on my hottest moments. Yeah. Nigga that saw me come like, time for you and him to do a tape. I couldn't deny it, nigga. Like, gotcha. If you deny this, we ain't going to get you this. Ah. Shit like that. It was shit like that. I'm wow. like, and they giving me money for it. Now we fought to get money for it. Now yeah. Noodle saying, yo, bro, I ain't going to lie. We fuck with you. You held us down, signing us. But we want to get paid, bro. Gotcha. We want to get paid every time we do something with him. Mm. So my son was a good dude, bro. He didn't know none of this was going on. He didn't know I felt like this. Now, that's what I'm trying to say. Niggas just be around, niggas. Niggas don't be doing what's be going on. Okay. The whole time, I, I, I ain't want to do nothing with the nigga. Like, I don't. I was okay. tired of doing shit. I mean, we already did what we did. Yeah. Niggas on my block is telling me that nigga is trash. Yeah. Shit like that, bro. Niggas is, you see what I'm trying to say? <laughs> then the whole who you touch situation. Yeah. I had a whole situation with a nigga I really fuck with. What's up, Mel Glizzy? Yeah. Yeah. I had a whole situation with him behind that because they took him off the song. Well, I, I it was a whole situation. I didn't want to be on the song with him. I, I, I argued with him. So yeah. that's PJ Glizzy. Yeah, brother. brother right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nigga, they put Bam in on the song. Damn. So, and he's dropped it. Niggas thinking, I wanted to, why would I take a nigga, there's nothing towards Bam in, but why would I bring you into a song that a nigga I know from the hood and help a nigga in the hood? Yeah. After that, me, we had a fallout, me and Mel, I didn't want to do that song no more. God. These niggas like, nah, this is crazy. Ah, ah, this is going to be the one. Yeah. So then we did it. Gotcha. Damn, do you, do you talk to Mel now or? Fact. Okay. I was just okay. going yesterday. Blessings. That's what's up. That's what's up. You know, um, we got some shit on the way too. A word? We just made some shit yesterday. Fire. Fire. So that's what the fiends gonna know. So that's gonna go crazy. I bet. Bet. Um, 
I remember when you, you know, it came out to the world, you was having a child. Like, how did that change your life now that you're a father? You know what I'm saying? What is the new Shai K like now? But that shit saved a lot of niggas. Yeah. <laughs> you see all these Jew rappers clashing out. I would have been fall. I would have been locked up. That shit yeah. saved a lot of niggas, bro. Yeah. So I know I got to be here for my daughter. It's not like a boy. Gotcha. I got a girl. I got to watch over and shit like that. So, yeah. That shit saved a lot of niggas. I just be cautious of what I do. Yeah. And I think twice, man. Bad. Did you um? Did you ever finding out that your 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 lady is pregnant? Did you think to yourself, "Damn, I want a boy or a girl," or were you kind of like? I want a girl. Oh, you wanted a girl. I knew. Wow. What, what? What? Why did you want a girl? Most people want boys. You know? Cause what? my son will be like me, nigga. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> In this generation. Do you think you could deal with somebody like you? Could you? Could do you think you could deal with a, raising yeah. a kid like you? Yeah, but nah, because that's crazy. And this generation is wild, probably. Yeah. <laughs> a couple more years and shit calm down. Got you. Got you. Bet, bet. Kids is coming out. Once they hit seven years old, they make it tracks distant. Yeah, um, we got three a lot. Four, yeah. three years ago. Yeah, yeah, exactly. How do you feel, you know, with having a child, you know, now, how do you feel when your life is out there? You are you a superstar, so your life is going to be out there. When when things happen, like you either break up with your lady or they saying that she hitting you, you hitting her, things like that. What comes to your mind when you see things like that? I see, let me tell you, because I'm like, I'll be like, this mad, I should just bring mad attention. And you know I'm famous and shit, so that's heavy. Yeah. Gotcha. That shit give me tight. Do you ever have um conversations with her about like, um, I guess like yo, you know, like I'm a, I'm, you're, you're a face now. You're like a superstar. So do you ever have those conversations or? Yeah, she don't care though. <laughs> is it she our own mom? Yeah, yo, Fuck the you. one person that don't give a damn how big you are is your lady. <laughs> <laughs> yo, the whole world could be like, yo, you ill, you this, you that. Nah, for for your lady is gonna be like hell nah, or be sad. Yeah, cause he wanna talk about me. That yeah. nigga man. Yeah, y'all yeah, was cool, right? Very cool. Mm-hmm. He said he was feeding us at Cali and yeah, shit. Yeah, he always says that when I talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, hey. He I, I'm about to go cap. I, I'm about to go cap. All right, you just were. We went to fucking, what's it, what's it like Walgreens or something? Got beef patty, shit like that, bro. Yeah. Nah. Shit like, <laughs> it's a beef patty, though. Like, like Shit like that. <laughs> frozen food that we could make any time. Shit like that. You pop in the microwave two minutes. Yeah, and we did drive over there. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So, but the fallout was because it was really eat up. That that because he said you know he wasn't jacking that. You I guess was cool with eat out and um, eat out started hanging out with two six. Oh yeah, shit like that. Yeah. But no, nah, the fallout was with O and B J D, and I'm smoking your man, so it was like, oh, you gotta be for me. Got you. Wow. But, but why you didn't like JD for? He ain't like me, bro. He ain't like you. He ain't like me. Do you, did, you, did he ever say wow or what it was? I guess he seen me texting his baby mama son. You were, though? Bro, she texted me, bro. What'd she say? Like, word. No, hold on. EK, don't bring that up because you know what I'm going to have to bring up and I don't want to. <laughs> yeah, I know. All that shit happened. <laughs> yeah. Wait, hold on. Y'all on FaceTime, y'all having phone sex or something? Like, how was... fact. Yo, I lost my phone, bro. I had, yeah, man, I Yo, my, EK! Yeah, man, I lost my phone, bro. Yeah. I, I would have videos on too, gang. I lost wow. my phone. Wow. So she's doing things. Yeah, you doing yeah. things. Yeah. I sound mad, kid. I sound mad, yo, right? She's doing things and you doing things. <laughs> no, that's crazy. But... Then he had a reason to not like you. But at first he ain't know. Yeah. He didn't know about that. Oh, wow. He just saw me text him. I'm like, nigga, go give a fuck about your BM and I. Uh-uh. Yeah. Then when I dissed him in the song and dissed her kid, that's when she posted everything. Yeah. I didn't know she had shit like that. Oh, okay, 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 okay. That is crazy to me, son. When we seen that, we was like, yo, what's going on, son? <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, so he always be, he, you know, JD said on my platform, he said he would want to box you or something like that. Would you be I'll down? I'll break that him? nigga up, gangsta. I will beat that nigga up. Yeah. But he, I think he said Zab Judah reached out or something like that, but you ain't want to do it or say, I don't know. But that nigga don't want to fight, bro. That nigga just retarded, bro. He like me, bro. He like, he's really dumb. He's slow sometimes. <laughs> we, me and him, yeah. we was never going to get along. Like, me and K-Flock, we was never going to get along. Like, niggas that's just like me. Yeah. 
Damn it never work. OT7 Kwani. Fuck How that the... pussy nigga. What? Nah, and I never showed the messages, but I'm sure the messages Damn, I didn't even there. get to the question. <laughs> look, oh, nah. the nigga text me. Look, I wanted to show you. Yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, look. Because I know he's gonna show him there. I don't know why. It looked like I texted him first. Oh, I don't yeah. know. Gotcha. I said, yo. Because he was liking my shit. I said, what's the yeah. word? Niggas, I told him, send me a verse. But then I started thinking about it like, yeah. nah, I'm really big. Nigga, my man saying, what, nigga? Because me and Noodles be arguing, so he would have told a nigga pay me. So when I told Noodles, he was like, bro, you know how I'm doing it for free? Uh-uh. Yeah. He like, I just started some shit. Tell me if you fuck with me. At this time, I got 200K followers. Got he you. got 20K. Got you. So now we FaceTime. Yeah. They like, I'm out here today, gang. Where we were? I'm like, where you at? I was mad lit, bro. I was not... Yeah, 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 yeah. Pain. I ain't care about niggas. Yeah. They said about to go do some shit on the radar. You just did. They said you. They called me. Say you playing games, bro. What we on, gang? I text them. My features is five k. What, he, <laughs> what he said? <laughs> he said, bro. Why you forgot? You told me send you a verse. I'm lit like you, bro. I ain't one of them. Damn. Then I said, I can't do nothing for free. You hit me up, nigga. I been lit. You can't respect that. I was with you, nigga. Nothing's free. I'll get money. Free. I, I, I get money. That shit nothing to me, King. He said, yeah. nigga, suck my dick, you bitch ass nigga. No way. You know me. You DM me and Tony, send you a verse, then double back trying to charge me. I ain't nobody fan, nigga. You ain't nobody. You a bitch. He saying all this. Yeah. Damn. I see he commented the other day on your thing. Um, he was too, he, he he commented on one of your 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 videos. Mm. And then um, how you trying to say? That's how I'm saying. You a dick sucker. How you, I was dissing RPT. I ain't dissing now. One time and that's all. Yeah. Why the fuck you diss me for? Why the fuck you comment on that shit like that? Sucking RPT dick. You're not RPT, brother. You from Philly. You a yeah. victim. Like, <laughs> come on, EK. You can't. Come on, bro. <laughs> Gangsta. What's the future plans for Shy EK, man? What's the future plans for you, bro? It's working, going up, being the biggest artist in New York. Yeah. Dropping the album. Who's some people? Okay, boom. What's the name of the album? I don't know. Yeah? How soon do you want to release it? I would have been dropped it. Yeah. The Warner Records dropped my music. You hear that, Warner? We need some new Shy EK. Stop playing. <laughs> um, I guess, uh, yeah, what, what could the people expect with this album? M melodic, yeah. pain. Yeah. Everything I go through in the last two years. Gotcha. You being some. Yo, J. Geek, weren't y'all cool, bro? Yeah, that's a fact. And you damn feed me, bro. Stop fucking lying. I ain't gonna lie. You probably bought me a perk or two yeah. here and there. You didn't fucking feed me, you fucking bozo. Yeah. Nigga, we just dragging it, bro. We was all struggling together. Okay, okay. But what happened with... Because he says the story, y'all go somewhere, he leaves something in the car. That was my means, though. All right, okay. okay. Enough. They, <laughs> they, did, they did what they did to him, you heard? Yo, let me make sure. <laughs> let me make sure we have all our stuff here. But the you can't leave. <laughs> I wasn't there, bro. They did. Yeah, 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 yeah. I should be wrong with niggas. If you chill with me, don't chill with my friends when I'm not around. Ah, uh, niggas want to chill with me to get around niggas I'm around. Gotcha. So he was doing that. That happened. That happened. He called me. Yo, what? bro, this happened. I call him black. I'm like y'all bugging. This is my man. Y'all niggas is damn really. They yeah. make a song and say. O I O G K. So Wait, now but he's jacking O Y K O G K. I gotta do something to you now, yeah, bro. Yeah, but he said he he said you blocked him like. When no, you, I did not block him. No, you, did, you sure you can? You yes, bro. I never blocked that nigga. <laughs> I never blocked him. Yeah. And I was still FaceTiming him and all. Like, bro, that's crazy. Uh, uh. Yeah. Then you drop a song and put O I O G K. What you want me to do now? Now it's a little too far. Now, damn, man. Then I see them all. One forty fifth in Harlem. What happened? He's wearing slippers at the bus stop. He's driving. He's walking. Boom, we saw that whole movement. We parked the car. Yeah. Free my son PJ. We hopped out. That nigga ran mad fast. I had the video, I lost it. He lucky. He ran mad fast. Ain't got hit by a moving car, like a car driving by. Boom. He rolled over. <laughs> he jumped out in the V. Like, pussy. They trying to say, hey, run because of me. He ran because of PJ. That nigga's just a pussy. That nigga's just like a PJ dick. Right I'm, I'm like, telling you, yo, I be hearing <laughs> about PJ. He's the boogeyman, man. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, man. Yo, listen, Shai K, man. I know you dropping a project. 
Yo, much blessings, bro. You're somebody that everybody been asking me to come on the platform. Because like you said, I ain't going to lie, there's a lot of conversations on this platform and your name is brought up. Over 20 videos. That shit's yeah. crazy. I, I, I ain't going to lie. Some things is just like, I got to ask them. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to lie. But um, it's, it is a testament of how lit you are too. You feel me? You doing your thing. Um, and I always tell people, without y'all coming... And telling y'all stories, I don't have a platform, so I gotta give you your flowers. Like I said, when you had that run, it was crazy. You did your thing, got your deal, changed your life, and but much blessings for you, your family, and everybody, bro. Um, just keep going up. And yeah, whatever you have in store, you know what I'm saying for the for your fans for 2024. You know we would definitely support it. You know what I mean. Um, just keep going up, man. Look, my up. boy. Word up, ladies and gentlemen, man. Shy K. Until next time, man. Wow.